The stabilization phase will end on 21st November and we will return to the transition phase. We are now in a better position to further relax the safe management measures. From 22nd November, we will allow groups of up to five fully vaccinated persons to dine in at FMB establishments, even if they are not from the same household. From 23rd November, this will also apply to hawker centres and coffee shops, which are able to put in place the necessary checks. Hawker centres and coffee shops which are unable to do so can continue to have groups of up to two fully vaccinated persons to dine in. We will also align the permissible group size for social gatherings. This will be increased from two persons to five persons. In addition, we will increase the cap on daily number of household visitors also to five. However, we strongly encourage unvaccinated individuals to continue to stay at home as much as possible to protect yourselves. Do also take the necessary precautions when you are visiting those who are more vulnerable. For example, if you are visiting a household that has an unvaccinated person or vulnerable elderly that you are aware of, you can protect them by testing yourselves prior to the visit. As we further ease our SMMs, vaccinated differentiated SMMs or VDS will continue to be a key measure to protect those who are unvaccinated. The People's Association and Sports SG had earlier launched pilots on activities for seniors who are fully vaccinated. Drawing on lessons from these pilots, we will resume more of such activities in a safe manner in the coming weeks. Seniors can look forward to more active ageing programmes by the Health Promotion Board and the National Silver Academy in time to come. More details will be released soon. From 1st December, we will also expand VDS to more settings and activities. This will include all libraries under the National Library Board and selected activities in the community clubs. As earlier announced, we will extend a concession to those who are medically ineligible for vaccination from 1st December so that they are able to access premises or participate in activities where VDS are imposed. This will include dining in and visits to hospitals and residential care homes. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for your patience and your support. We are able to make these adjustments because we have helped to keep our infection under control.